how you doing today? This is Anthony from Kalardioscope. Thank you so much for joining me today. Really do appreciate you coming back and supporting my channel. I, I really, really mean that very, very much. Today's Sephora haul, as you can see by the title above, is a pretty small order I made not too long ago. Um, without further ado, let's get down to it so you can see what I picked up and uh, see if that's something you'd be interested in. First thing I picked up here is the Josie Moran um, Argon Enlightenment Illuminizing Trio, uh, $26, uh, it's a $44 value, this is what it looks like. Inside of here is the, here comes the uh, Argon Enlightenment Illuminizer, it's a creamy liquid for an all over glow. An Argon Enlightenment Illuminizing Wand, which I believe is this right here, For it's a creamy wand for a targeted glow. And the Argon Enlightenment Illuminizing Powder Veil, which is a creamy powder for a subtle glow, which I believe is this one right here. Don't know if you can see it with all the reflections and everything. It is gold, so everything kind of just reflects off of there. Uh, everything from Josie Moran, especially this Argon Oil line, is really, really good. Um, my wife really, really loves it, and it works really well. So, can't go wrong with that. Uh, also, while I was there, I picked up the Josie Moran Whimsical Wonder Argon Oil Color Essentials. This one is, it says there, $34 for a $72 value. Really, really can't go wrong with that. This has got all the new items for her makeup line, I believe. Uh, it comes with the 100% Pure Argan Oil Light, which is really good because we have the regular Argan Oil. I always want to try the light one. It has the Coconut Watercolor Cheek Gel in Pink Escape. The Argan Enlightenment Illuminizer. The Coconut Watercolor Eyeshadow in Beach Sand. And the Argan Oil Black Mascara right here. Let's open it up to show you what it looks like on the inside. So this is what it looks like on the inside. It's actually a cute little box that you open up. It's like a, a box bowl thing. But here is what the items in the inside look like. So they're all pretty decent sizes. Right there, that is what it comes with. The argan oil and the droppers and mascara and all that and whatnot. If you don't keep them upright, the little pet thing wears down and it just falls off, which I learned the hard way. So just remember that if you ever have one of these, keep these suckers upright because little rubbery thing will break down and fall off. Little tip, save you a little bit of money, save you a little bit of time. The more you know, you know what I mean. Sorry, I just got carried away there. It's a throwback to my childhood. The next thing I picked up here is the Josie Moran Whimsical Wonder Argan Oil Skin Care Essentials. It's $39 right here for the $72 value. Inside this set, the uh, Argan Milk Intensive Hydrating Treatment, the Argan Infinity Intensive Creamy Oil, and the Whipped Argan Oil Body Butter in Vanilla Apricot. So let's open this sucker up and have a look. Oh, it's another pretty, very cute, cute design here with a little, like I said, it's like a little bowl thing with each thing in there. There you go. Took it out. How easy was that? Okay, so these are the five items that come in there. All pretty decent sizes. This is a good little display. Just put it on your countertop. This little bowl thing, on the other hand, I'm not really sure, but I'll just put it back in there for display purposes for later. Um, it's actually kind of cool. I never really thought about picking up this set because the skincare was not something I was really looking into, but uh, glad I did. This is actually really, really nice. So my wife would be very, very happy I finally hauled this so she can use it. If you have any questions, let me know down below. I'm sure I can answer your questions by the time you see this video. She will have used almost everything in here. And we can get back to you as soon as possible. Next up, I picked up here is the Kevin Icon Contour Book. The original one, not the second one. Uh, I believe the second book comes with these cream highlighters and stuff like that. And that apparently has not gone well. All the powdery stuff gets stuck in the cream ones. It kind of ruins it. This is the original Contour Book. The Art of Sculpting and Defining. It's this black snakeskin type of feel on the outside. On the inside, it has a little tutorial on the contouring and uh, what have you. And the actual set itself on the inside here comes with the, you see, a highlighter, a sculpting powder, shade, and define, accentuate, and brighten. These are the steps in here, like so. Let me see if I can get this without showing everything in my desk there we go these are the things that are inside of this particular book is the contour book the original one like i said not the second part second part i believe had cream things in it which like i said i heard from a lot of people have not gone well so if you can still find this which i'm sure you can i'll link it down below and you can find it on the sephora website 
Uh, the first thing I picked up here while I was looking online was uh, Kevin Icahn's first book. This is Making Faces, which is uh, the first part of his two-part series, which has all these beautiful pictures, makeup styles over the years, people he's worked with, types and ways to do your makeup. It's really, really very, actually, very, very interesting. Um, I also picked up, since I was online, and these are online only, is the part two, which is Face Forward by Kevin Icahn. Um, also a very interesting book, same thing. It was only like um, about, what does it say here, $22 online only. But it's the same thing, full color, shows you all the looks, all the styles. It's very interesting, very um, thought-provoking even. Uh, unfortunately, Kevin has passed on, but you know, he's a makeup guru for real, watching down on us from heaven little makeup angel of your own if you will um, but these two books great investment like I said uh, making faces and face forward definitely worth the investment I believe they are online only from Sephora which is very strange because you don't see books from Sephora all that much although I'm sure you can get it from your local Barnes and Noble or Borders um, just wanted to show you those so that my wife can finally read them because they've been in the box with that other stuff uh, since we got them so keep an eye out for those the next thing I picked up here is the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Skin Supplements. This is a coffret that has the intensive skin supplements, hydrating eye cream and hydrating face cream. These are what they look like. I was going to open up and show you, but basically there are three types of creams, and well, two types of creams and an oil. It doesn't really make much sense to open up to show you bottles of stuff. Uh, apparently these are really, really good though. I have heard many, many good things about these. Definitely going to try these out. Um, if my wife doesn't try them out, I'm definitely going to try them out. So let me know if you want to know how these worked out. Uh, the next thing I picked up here is the Na Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Fair Neutral, which of course, lightest color I could find for my wife. Uh, I've heard wonderful things about this. We have the entire naked line anyway, so I figured we might as well pick this up. It's been a long time coming, but this Fair Neutral is always, always sold out online. So when I finally saw it, so I'd jump on top of that and get that. Uh, next thing I got here is the Cover FX Blemish Treatment Concealer. Uh, I was in a concealer kind of mood, I guess. This is a neutral extra light blemish treatment concealer from Cover FX. I've heard wonderful things about this also, so I figured uh, once again they came up with an extra light color. This is the one we should go with as opposed to regular light. I've uh, noticed sometimes a regular light color is a little too dark uh, for my wife. Not so much for myself, but definitely for her. So like I said, when I saw this Cover FX one, it was time to pick that up. For myself, though, I picked up these Bosha Pink Peppermint Blotting Linens. You know, everybody needs these blotting cloths, so when you're having a little sweat issue, you can just blot yourself without ruining your makeup, or just blot yourself in general. I usually blot myself like with these when I'm on set. Uh, I go through about a pack of these every two weeks when I'm on set, so there's only 100 sheets in each one, but uh, my makeup artist at work is always very, very happy that I bring these with me thing I have here is the Marc Jacobs Undercover Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. I'm sure you guys have all seen this, the Undercover Coconut Perfecting Face Primer in the number 30 Invisible. So this is what it looks like, this one with the white cover, Marc Jacobs Primer. Uh, as you may notice, it's, everything is smoothly rounded. He's not big on pointed corners, so everything has these rounded edges. It's actually really beautiful. Um, I also have a palette by him that I can show you real quick to to show what I mean by the rounded corners, this is the Marc Jacobs Style Icon number 7. This is the, in Lolita. My wife has been waiting for this for a long time. Every time I go into Sephora to buy it, it's always sold out. So, saw it online, finally in stock. It always comes with these great little uh, packaging covers. And on the inside, the Marc Jacobs logo on the front there, all rounded off perfectly, beautifully. Press the button to open. And on the inside, full-size mirror, has a little covering over the eyeshadows themselves. This is what Lolita looks like on the inside. Isn't that something? I mean, I'm shocked. I'm, it's not really quite my thing, but you know, my wife has been looking for this for a very, very long time. This is once again, number 206 Lolita from Marc Jacobs. It's stunning actually looking at it in person as opposed to looking at it online. Uh, let me put this away very carefully before I go on to the next item. Like I said, everything says Marc Jacobs, it's beautifully, you know, this is embroidered right onto the packaging, so how can you possibly go wrong? I'm wondering how they let them get away putting them in boxes, but I guess that's the only way you can really sell them and ship them. 
But like I said, he's not real big on uh, square edges, so he likes everything rounded off. That's why, like I said, everything is rounded off. It's like a really, really big capsule or something like that. The thing I have here is the Bare Minerals Blemish Ready Foundation in the color Clearly Porcelain. It's just a regular foundation. I mean, just from Bare Minerals, but like I said, in the Clearly Porcelain. And this is the color here, uh, the Bare Minerals Blemish Ready Foundation in the color Simply Porcelain. Zero One is the lightest color they've come out with. It is actually perfect for my wife. Although I might almost say it's a little dark for her, but you never know. She hasn't tried it yet, but this is beautiful. I love the way this looks. This thing's going to be covered in fingerprints the second anybody starts using it. Let's put this away safely before I move on to the next item. Next thing I picked up here is the Makeup Forever 15 Artist Shadow Palette. This is the uh, 15 Artist Shadow Palette. That's the palette in the inside. This is what it looks like on the outside. The iconic lips as they always are. Let me open it up so I can show you on the inside. It is the same on the inside. It has this great glitter orange metallic looking thing. You can see the reflection in the camera. It is amazing. This is what they look like on the inside. If I can get this out without dropping a little piece of plastic everywhere in sight. Uh, full size mirror on the top. These are the colors that come with it. These are amazing. This artist shadow palette. I've heard such amazing things about it. My wife has been raring to go to get one of these. Um, and try it out, so I'm glad we finally did. Speaking of artist palettes and Makeup Forever palettes that we picked up, finally picked up the Makeup Forever Volume 3. We have the first two, as I'm sure if you've been following along at home, we picked up the first two last year, and this is the third one, the Artist Shadow Palette. Let me just show it to you. This one with the lips and the brush with the flowers on there. These are the colors that come inside. Like I said, full-size mirror. These are the colors that come inside of there. I mean, it's really, really quite something. Beautiful pastel colors. This is really, really nice. I know the volume two of this is actually currently on sale online at Sephora. Uh, volume one, not. This one, not. Volume two is on sale. I think it's because it's one of those ones that has those really bright neon colors. And people weren't really sure what to do with it. I gotta be honest with you, all three of these volumes are definitely worth the money. It's only like $44 each. Um, on sale, I believe it's only 26 so definitely go check it out, especially if you're just going to get one just to try it out and see how these Makeup Forever eyeshadows are. That's the one to go with. Finally, in this order, I actually got one of these uh, Sephora Perk little pouches. It's gold on the back side, uh, black on the front with the Sephora name on it. It came with a bunch of samples and stuff on the inside. Uh, let's pull all this stuff out and have a look at what they have. The Versace Bright Crystal perfume. There's some liquid blender cleanser from Beauty Blender. Amazing cosmetics, amazing concealer. Amazing concealer. The Sephora Sweet On You Colorful Blush, which seems to come with everything they give samples for. This is the Urban Decay 24 Hour Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Good stuff, never have enough of that. The Living Proof Prime Style Extender. Like I said, it's just samples, free samples, and you just choose them all yourself. It's the Kate Somerville Skin Health um, Exfolicate, which is good shit. There's the Fresh Soy Conditioning Eye Makeup Remover, and the Face Cleanser right here, a couple packets of that. Then you have the Ula Henriksen Three Little Wonders right here. Just little samples. I mean, you can't go wrong with samples. Why not try them out, especially if they're free. You can't pass them up. You have the Skin Ink Overnight Wonder right here. The Nude Pro Genius Rescue Oil, a little sample right there. And finally, the YSL uh, 8 Hours Beauty in a Sleep Click to Chicla. Um, not really sure what else I can call that, but you have three little samples and different colors there. Um, that's actually what came um, free of charge, of course, so I wasn't really worried about it. Always good to get a free gift from Sephora, you never know when you will. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you do, in fact, like these types of videos. Don't forget to join me on Facebook at uh, Claudioscope Anthony Collard or on Twitter or Instagram at Claudioscope. I really appreciate you guys sticking it out and coming back to visit me. I really do appreciate it more than you could possibly know. I love you guys more than I could possibly say. Thank you so much. You guys have a wonderful day, and I'll be seeing you real soon. Guys, take care now.